the different cases of pronoun. What is a pronoun? It is a part of speech that replaces a noun in a sentence. Basically, any noun can be replaced by a pronoun. Pronouns are used to avoid repetition of the same noun in a sentence. Let's take this for example. Gio likes to play basketball. He plays every weekend with his friends. As we can see, the words he and his are both pronoun that can be used to replace or substitute for the noun Gio. But what will happen if we don't use these pronouns? Gio likes to play basketball. Gio plays every weekend with Gio's friends. Technically speaking, the sentence structure is correct, but it doesn't sound right. That is the reason why we need to use pronouns. Here are the list of pronouns that we will be using in the entire lesson. Pronouns have three cases, which is what indicates how that pronoun is related to the words that is used with. The three cases are subjective or sometimes called nominative, possessive, and objective. But we're going to discuss first the subjective case of pronoun. The subjective case is used when the pronoun is the subject of the sentence. And here are the list of pronouns used in subjective case. I, you, he, she, it, we, and they. What do we mean by this first person singular, second person singular and plural, and so on and so forth? We know that singular pertains to only one, and plural pertains to two or more. But what about this persona? First, second, and third person are ways of describing points of view. First person is the I and we perspective. Second person is the you perspective. Third person is the he, she, it, and they perspective. When we talk about ourselves, our opinions, and the things that happen to us, we generally speak in the first person point of view. The second person point of view belongs to the person or people being addressed, and that is the you perspective. While the third person point of view belongs to the person or people being talked about. The third person pronouns include they, he, him, but in this case, we're going to focus on the subjective case, so we only use it and they. Let's have an example where a subjective case of pronoun is applied. I finished the whole 400-page novel in just one sitting. The pronoun here is I. The subject or the thing being named by the use of pronoun is I, so this would mean that we use the nominative case of pronoun or the subjective case. She was quiet as she entered the museum. The pronoun here is she in subjective case because it serves as the subject of the sentence. The next case is the possessive case. A pronoun that is in the possessive case is used to show ownership or possession of something. Here are the list of possessive case pronouns. My, mine, your, yours, his, her, hers, its, our, ours, their, theirs. Same as the explanation for the point of views and the numbers. Example of possessive case. My mother waited for me for an hour because I was stuck in the traffic. In this sentence, my is showing whose mother is being discussed. And although there is another pronoun, I, it serves as the subject of the sentence and is called a subjective pronoun. But since we are talking about possessive case, the possessive case here is my. The last case of pronoun is the objective case. A pronoun that is in the objective case is used as the direct object, indirect object, or object of the preposition. Let's have a quick recap of the following. Direct object is the receiver of the action mentioned in the sentence. Indirect object answers the question of to whom, for whom, or for what. Object of preposition is a noun, noun phrase, or pronoun that follows a preposition and completes its meaning. So here are the list of 
pronouns in objective cases. Me, you, him or her, it, us, and them. Same rules are applied for the perspectives. Example of objective case. I saw her yesterday. Her is the direct object of the verb saw. I wrote him a letter. Him is the indirect object of the verb wrote, which is the recipient of the letter, which is the direct object. The car was a present from them. Them is the object of the preposition from. So here is the summary of the list of pronouns under each cases.